Hey everyone, um, thank you so much for donating and sharing both of the fundraisers, the GoFundMe and the Facebook fundraiser. We have reached a little over $100 since the last Q&A. So guess what? Time for another Q&A. Sorry it has taken us a few days to do another Q and A. We've had a very sick little boy. I have not felt that great myself. Is FA hereditary and could your children have it? Yes, FA is hereditary. As of right now, no. My children showed no signs of having it. However, and now I'll let my fiance explain. FA is a recessive gene like albinism. Um, it takes two carriers to have it. And without me being tested, the father, um, it's a one in 200 ch chance. With me being tested, we would either know that it was zero percent chance or fifty percent chance. Some people want to know, like, how do you get around personally, and you know, if if somebody has like MS or a neuromuscular disease or somehow winds up in a wheelchair, what are like some good options or options to get around him? So, um. If you live in the city, it makes it a little bit easier because you know you have the city bus and stuff to get all around town. Or like, live in New York, you take the subway or whatever, like those kind of things. Um, but for someone non ambulatory, best thing and best way to get around is to have a brawn ability wheelchair access in and in our case it took a while for us to get it we started out with a old clunker car and my fiance had to lift me in and out of the front seat and we did a push chair in the truck and that worked kind of for a while, but it really didn't give me independence either. Um, and then we were able to get a lift on the back of our van, but the wheelchair I have currently in way too much for the lift, even though it was awesome. Lift. my share way too much so I had to go out and get a jazzy and even that was difficult because you know I still had to get in and out of the van like in the front seat so there was still lifting involved and I had more independence but it wasn't it wasn't quite the same then we were eventually blessed with a Bronnability wheelchair van. And it's got the ramp that goes down automatically. And I just drive into it and my, my fiance hooks me up. And that's, that's that, that I could go where I want, I want, like, on my own and be free. Um, there are different brown ability vans, such as, you know, I have a family or something, then there's one that open. From the back, which are also very nice and convenient because you don't have to have, like, that side handicap parking, like you can just park anywhere. Um, and there are ones where the front seats pull out, and ours does that 
on both the driver's seat and the passenger seat, but so far I'm not using either of those two seat areas. So far I just put my hair up and in the middle of the van. <laughs> so like where that middle seat, van seat would go, that row, I kind of just sit right there and that's what we do right now so that's where we are and it's got three seats in the back and the passenger seat so yeah. so as she said you know if you get a, a rear ramp you're going to lose all of your back seats and if she's if you're a driver you lose you know, obviously the driver's seat or if you're at the you know if you ride shotgun you're going to lose the passenger seat too um, there are some that have like some pull down seats, but I don't think they're they're like legal for like kids to you know buckle a uh, child seats and stuff in. So the, the trade off is yeah you can park anywhere, but if you have a family you have to have like a side wheelchair van. We got to see uh, your story on YouTube for all the GoFundMe people and your Q&As and stuff. And one thing I don't think you mentioned was how old you were when you stopped walking. So at around 18, 19, maybe 20, I dislocated my knee. And instead of dislocating it outwards, I just look at it in like Twitch size called a sublux subluxation. So I started using crutches right after that happened. So I would say we had 21 for sure. And then probably went around that way for four or five, maybe almost six years years and then at 26 is when I had an arp surgery to put a plate in my radius hold it together and the doctor said no more cartridges time to go in the wheelchair what's so funny <laughs> Hey everyone! <laughs> hey everyone! <laughs> hey everyone! Thanks for. What's your favorite food, Mama? I would say probably tata chicken fingers and bag one. Hey everyone, thanks for helping us reach a uh, hundred more dollars on the GoFundMe and Facebook fundraisers. Keith. <laughs>